you're wondering why I'm wearing a dressing gown, it's because I'm, I'm in Perth and it's freaking cold here. Don't really want to run my heater. Heaters cost a lot of money to run. But if you want to help me run my heater, you could buy my book. So my book is out. Um, it has a whole bunch of great recipes, all cooked on campfire, uh, 65 plus recipes, over 200 pages. This has been four years in the making. Uh, I'm really proud of it. I hope you like it. Um, but let's get back to the Kimberley to see my favorite meal of the whole trip. See you there. Welcome back to Fire to Fork. I would love to show you where we are properly. Uh, actually, I will show you where we are properly. We are down the coast near James Price Point, Minari, that sort of area in the Kimberley in probably the most stunning spot you can camp, I think, uh, visually. So I threw the drone up a few minutes ago. I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna just chuck on some drone stuff and show you what a stunning location we are. And then I'm gonna get into the cooking. lad's last day in with me which means it's my last day in the Kimberley so to really treat the boys I've decided to cook them something very special uh, me ring yeah it's sounds crap but when you add what we're adding to it uh, it's pretty bloody special so to cook me ring I've never actually read the back of the packet because I'm not three um, I think I can make I think most of us can make instant noodles so, to do that, you get water, and then you put it on something that makes water boil, and then you wait until the water's boiled. And that's the end of my TED talk. It's stupidly easy. Fun little trick, which I had never tried before, but my mate Nick told me about it. Um, the little sauce packets that you get inside it. You know, you, as soon as you open them up, they spray everywhere, unless you get scissors or whatever, which I don't carry. Um, don't do that, but uh, to avoid doing that, put them in the freezer for a little bit and they get really cold and like quite solidified and they come out as like lumps and they melt as soon as you put them in the hot noodles. Really cool trick. Now, the idea of this, using this today, is this is actually Nick's. So come on up. <laughs> this is the Osbry Oz Pit. And the idea was to show Nick how to actually use this bloody thing. So we put it together, we've lit a fire in it. That's all pretty straightforward. Um, the next bits will be a little bit more where we can see the kind of features of it and, and actually learn how to use it better. All right, what are we doing with the GU? First, beer. Colonial IPA. You know the deal. Mother's milk. Um, <clears throat> God, I do love this beer though, seriously. <laughs> So, we've got, still got this on the highest setting, which I actually want to change. I want to move it down one setting to the middle. And basically the reason for that is we want to make it as close to the wood as humanly possible. I don't know if you can actually see this. Thanks, mate. Sorry, too hot. Uh, so, grab this and just move it down to the next setting. There are three settings on it. You just do it very carefully, take your time. Yep, so that's nice and solid now, but it's right on the flame, which is really good. So that boiling water is very close, but that's not the thing we need lots and lots of heat for. The thing we need lots and lots of heat for is this, and that is a Wagyu steak. This particular belter of a Wagyu is from our mates at Rob's Craft Butchery. They hooked us up with all the meat on this trip, and it is unbelievable. We didn't get through anywhere near what we brought, um, so we're going to be doing 
cooking episodes for days after this, which is great. But it was all frozen, all cryovac, so it's not an issue. No, nothing's going to waste, which is fantastic. Look at that bloody Wagyu. Honestly, the marbling is just insane. Whew. The other thing we're doing is salmon. So, you cook these for similar amounts of time, but quite differently. Got a bit of skin on salmon here. Um, I'm gonna cook him with the skin on. Uh, I've got a little pot here with a bit of oil in it. A little pan, sorry. Get that pan hot. And then I'll drop that salmon in. Now the rest of the ingredients of this. Ah, some spring onion, but that's gonna be the very last thing we do. Uh, some extra fried shallots, because they do come with fried shallots, but not enough, never enough. How are we going in the water? Boil yeah, good. Ready to go. Ready to go. All right. Put that off to the side because I want to get everything else ready because the noodles only take like a minute or something. Not very long at all to do them pr correctly, which is al dente. Um, and a couple of eggs because you need an egg. So first thing I wanted to put on is that steak. Salt. Pepper. And then I'm going to drop them straight on the heat in the hottest part of the fire. Beautiful, that sizzle is awesome. Now you salt and pepper the other side. Burn your arm hairs. A few curly ones there now. Um, now I'm going to chuck the salmon on, skin side down. That burned me. Oh, I'm doing well. Skin side down, fair bit of heat. Now I think we can probably flip this view. Look at that. Stunning. So good. That looks really good. A bit too much heat on this salmon. Trying to cook Wagyu and salmon in the same spot, it's probably not the best idea in the world, but it's all right. Put the oil on fire, it's good. Looking that, it's gonna give a little flip. Yeah, actually I don't want the skin anyway, so that's fine. I'm gonna cook him a little bit more gently, I think. Like this. Yeah. Now usually you wouldn't be doing both of these at the same time, so usually I'd be saying cook this on a slightly lower heat, cook that on a very high heat, um, because you'd either be having salmon or wagyu, not both. But let's be honest, that wagyu is going to take priority. Now, let's chuck some megarang in. Oh, she looks perfect. That salmon looks absolutely perfect. Cool. Megor's in there. Now, last thing we need is a couple of eggs. So I think we can get this salmon out. She feels just perfect, like genuinely really perfect. Same fry pan. Couple of eggs. Let's check on the Mego. Like a little bit al dente, so that actually feels pretty much perfect. Have a quick taste. Mmm, bit on the tooth, perfect.
fancy drain bowls. As always, the all the gear I use in my videos is in the description below. Um, from memory, this is a Cedar Summit Sigma, which is really, really, really nice and light and good quality. I reckon those eggs are done. What do you reckon? Oh, do you reckon you can get the sauces? Cheers. Looking good. So, let's dice up this wag here. Get a bit of fat off. It is cooked to perfection. See, the Amiga rang when you put oh, it yeah. in and all goes white. Bit of a close up. And then you cut this end so you can push all this deliciousness out first and not lose any of it. That's really good. Yeah. So, close up on how that's Curry, cooked. That looks bloody good, mate. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That is good at cooking. I like to dice it. I'll just break that salmon apart onto it, I reckon. Yeah. Now, let's make some bloody noodles. How are these eggs going? Yeah, do you want to check those eggs? Yeah. Roughly half an each. All right, they look good. Oh, I love this, the frozen bloody mega ring bits. Yeah, clever. That's great. Like that. I'm into that. That's all right. Now, I know some people don't like chili. I personally think mega ring is not hot enough. So a lot of people put like half the chili thing in or none of the chili thing in. I'm the exact opposite. Um, so all the chili, all the soy sauce, or, you know, keycap manis, and all the bloody palm oil, which I know ruins planets. Um, then all the other goodness. Soysnin. What do you call this? Chicken. Yeah, but it's got something sprinkled on it. Seasoning. Seasoning. Looks like everybody's kicked a goal. <laughs> Stir them up. And these are the kind of noodles that you don't really have any water with, hey? Nah. Yeah. Nah, just dry noodles. It's not like a ramen or anything. If you have water with your megarang, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're doing, definitely doing it wrong if Agreed. you have water with megarang. <laughs> I couldn't we can all agree on that. I can, couldn't <laughs> agree more on that. Okay. Megarangs. So. Wagyu. <laughs> For my mega egg. That is wild. The student in me is like, what is you what are you doing? Okay, our egg. Woo! Nice. Damn, that looks good. Um some salmon. The student Harry would be appalled at this. Yeah. yeah. He'd be like, what? Why are you mixing these delicious ingredients with crappy old megaring? <laughs> it's because you've eaten it for seven days straight, mate. <laughs> you don't appreciate it anymore. This is sashimi grade salmon, so it is supposed to be cooked quite rare. There we go. An egg. Then a little bit of garnish. Spring onion. Now I don't think they put enough fried shallots on. Like I don't think there's any any such thing as enough fried shallots. So they can go on there. And last little finishing touch here is a little bit more sriracha. And that is a gourmet <laughs> megaring. I'll show you. Good, I'll get up close and personal. <laughs> serve that at Nobu. You can serve that at Nobu. <laughs> oh dear.
All right, so it worked out that this um, Wagyu is not $5, but this this is actually $5.50 with that whole piece of salmon. So it's pretty cheap. That's that's borderline student. Uh, no, that, that is student affordable. Um, now, where's my knife? Let's crack this open. And try both. Bit of salmon, bit of mego, bit of egg. That's delicious. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Have a go. Good for ya. Mmm. All your essential oils. Yeah. Cool. That's actually really good for you, I reckon. Yeah. Far off. I don't reckon this is as good for you. Mm, no. <laughs> Some people can't actually eat wagyu, it's just too much. It is rich, but you can't eat too much of it. Mmm. That's what do you think? One, especially with the fried egg. Yeah, the fried egg makes it, I reckon. It really sets it off. Feels almost authentically Indonesian. Doesn't taste like I used to make it. <laughs> no. Age 18. Delicious. You're going to want to throw that in the fire. All right. Coming up over here. Oh my wow. word. That is very nice. Excessive. Which is two really good things. I love Megarang, but then adding Wagyu to it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect it to be that good. <laughs> Come on, go, mate. Yeah. You've got to have a go at, go at this, mate. The oil with the chili and the salt and pepper just oh, works so well. That's really properly. That's really actually don't, really good. Don't even bother with salmon, just nah, do this. Throw it out. <laughs> you don't have to use Wagyu by the way, just use a nice bit of scotch fillet, thinly. Ooh. Ooh. Right? That's so good. Oh, wow. mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> You're right, even a half decent <laughs> bit of steak. So good. Well seasoned. Yeah. Yeah. With the oils and the seasoning you already get in the Migorang. What kind of cut would you use, Harry? If I'd you use weren't using Wagyu. Scotch fillet. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, I reckon. For sure. Yeah. A little scotch fillet in there. Yeah. Mm. Only half a steak. Mmm. Good bit of spice on it, too. This is great, too. Mmm. Fantastic. It just a little bit, a piece of salmon sparks it up so much. Mmm. Bloody great. It tastes like a more sophisticated meal. Mmm. Mm. Absolutely. It's really not very difficult or expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that at home. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've got frozen Wagyu steaks. I'm going to use them for that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty special. Don't tell Jay Walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, which won't be in the Kimberley anymore, but it'll still be great. Well, I hope it's great. Bye. Cheers. <sighs> oh, seriously. <clears throat> That's Mate, that ridiculous. One. <laughs> I didn't expect. I didn't did, like. Nah. Didn't expect. I knew it'd be good, but. Yeah. Mm. No, I didn't expect that either. That's um. <clears throat> Give me some of that cooter. Mm. Mm. No one wants the salmon. No. no. Salmon's <laughs> delicious, man. The salmon is awesome. It is, but I can compete with that. <laughs>